Hello YouTube, uh, wouldn't you know it, I did forget to show off one more PCB that I received yesterday uh, from PCBWay.com I also forgot to mention that they have free shipping till the end of next month and uh, they offer you $10 off for your first purchase if you mention my name which is Hairi. I put a link in the description and you can just use that. So without with those out of the way, this is the fifth PCB I think that I had PCB way make for me. And uh, this is for my OLED track. You might wonder now why this is white and this is black. Well, this PCB is sitting in between here. So to avoid it shining out there or being visible, I made it black this time. So it will get lost in here, so to speak. So this is the hopefully final PCB. It's my third version for the OLED track. And I will make, of course, a video as soon as I have this populated and running and I show you all the features and all the details uh, the one main feature is of course you have a micro SD card in here and once you turn it on let me turn it off real quick you are presented with this menu with all the apps that are on the micro SD card and you can choose any one of them and have it run on the display what do we choose the toaster my favorite screensaver from the 80s of course not much use but it has NeoPixel it has a GPS it has I2C I square C input it has a digital analog input output it has a uh, accelerometer it has a temperature humidity and uh, whatnot sensor in there and all those nice switches and everything charging includes LIBO battery wireless charging so just to name a few real quick so anyhow I just wanted to show you how the code uploaded without connection to a computer and if you want to change it you press the center button press reset here it will upload the code again and then you can choose something else of course something more useful like a GPS or a data logger or altimeter or altimeter uh, what do we have uh, altimeter logger clock different games uh, frequency generator, frequency counter, fuel gauge, and whatnot. So it has many, many features. But back to the PCB. This is the main PCB. It now has my MCP, what was it? Uh, 2221 USB to TTL adapter and I did change a few other items mainly pins and uh, this will be it so as soon as I have this done I will make a video again and show you maybe even each application anyhow I forgot to show this in my previous video and again a big thank you for PCB way uh, don't forget you have free shipping till the end of next month it was till the end of this month but it got extended uh, there's link in the description there's also a coupon code that you can use and a link to my Tindy store if you're interested in my products uh, I will put the OLED track there too of course and if you want to get it you can also get in touch with me right now anyhow this is the new and hopefully latest OLED track PCB. Let me show you some close-ups of the PCB 
and this is just uh, amazing work again these are actually traces on the top layer I mean not traces letters on the top layer and I how is that layer called I can't remember right now so it won't get covered by the silk screen and then it shows and the silk screen itself is white and uh, the black one is really nice and shiny you can all, you can see my phone there and it's holder so the silk screen is just perfect you have extra switch for the neo pixel that you can turn on and off because it has a mm, dc dc booster since this runs on 3.3 volt or even if i would get it direct from the lipo it's only 4.2 volts once it's fully charged and then it goes gradually down to 3.7 volts and that is not enough for NeoPixel the NeoPixel is on the side uh, right now it will have three codes a uh, Larsen scanner uh, police light and uh, pixel mixer where you can mix and match the pixels uh, let me show you that Neo Pixa, Mixa, Pixa. Sorry about that. It's been a long night. Little sleep. So you have the color mixer, as you can see. And it's currently set on 1% on each color. And I can go up with the red. If I click it, it goes to the next color. If I click it, it goes to the next color. You can turn it down red all the way down green and you will be able to use the output from the OLED track to also control more lights uh, if you supply your own 5 volt for the neo pixel it is so this is it and uh, if you again you want to change code you click the button click the reset and then that was too quick as soon as the now I can let go of the button and it will load the menu again uh, let me show the Knight Rider there you go you click it, it uploads the code and you get a nice Larson scanner also known as Larson scanner there you go you could have this if you uh, <laughs> put it on your dash and your car and get pulled over by the cops especially in the US <laughs> so anyhow uh, if you want to uh, a quicker way to get back to the menu is you can turn it on uh, off click and hold the button turn it on and let go of the button and it will load the menu again so this is my as you can read here already track and I'm happy that it is finally finished with this main PCB so anyhow thanks for watching and take care everybody